On November 15th, 1969, Dave Thomas opened the very first Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers restaurant in Columbus, Ohio. In no time, the quick service chain became known for their square patties, which signified how the restaurant chain didn't cut corners. Before opening Wendy's, Thomas was working alongside Harlan Sanders in his KFC franchises. Thomas helped to transform some of the KFC locations that were struggling. The approaches Thomas made included trimming down the number of menu items and focusing on the chicken. He was also involved in the decision to put the chicken in buckets to keep it hot and crisp. These suggestions were implemented and not long after, Thomas had successfully revived four restaurants and the business began to thrive. As a result, Thomas was granted a whopping 45% share of the KFC business and from his profits, Thomas opened his own KFC restaurants. He briefly served as a regional director for Kentucky Fried Chicken, while also being an early investor in the Arthur Treacher's fish and chips chain. In 1968, he sold his shares in KFC and used the money to help found Wendy's. Wendy's became a dream that began with his frustration at being unable to find a good hamburger in Columbus, Ohio. Thomas named the new restaurant after his daughter, Melinda Thomas, who was nicknamed Wendy. Wendy was in third grade when the chain's first restaurant opened, and she went on to be immortalized as one of the most iconic redheads of all time. In 1971, Wendy's second location in Columbus, Ohio, debuted what the company has called the first modern-day drive through pickup window. This innovation was so revolutionary that customers needed instructions on how to use it. Although the drive through speaker was not a new technology, it was new to some Midwest customers who were accustomed to ordering inside. In 1977, Wendy's first television commercial aired. This made them the first quick service chain with less than 1,000 restaurants to launch a national advertising campaign. A year later, the 1,000th Wendy's restaurant opened in Springfield, Tennessee. In just 100 months, the quick service chain accomplished this feat, which was unheard of at the time. Wendy's famous Frosty, the cool, creamy, soft-serve confection, has been on the menu since Dave Thomas's first restaurant. It cost just 35 cents at that time. The Frosty is actually a mix of chocolate and vanilla, a cross between a milkshake and a soft-serve ice cream. Thomas felt an all-chocolate dessert would be too overpowering to enjoy alongside a burger and fries. In 1979, Wendy's introduced the salad bar, the first of its kind among burger fast food chains. The Wendy's salad bar was popular in the beginning, but customers soon desired more portable salads, so the salad bars were eventually phased out. Baked potatoes joined the menu in 1983. The Wendy's baked potato saw success in the 80s as a favorite for customers seeking a lighter side or as a side to accompany their chili. In 1984, the popular Where's the Beef commercial aired. Clara Peller became an overnight sensation when she inspected a fluffy hamburger bun that was lacking in the beef department and exclaimed, Where's the Beef? The tagline became so popular that the advertisement led to a boost in Wendy's annual revenue and even sparked a merchandise line for fans. In 1984, Dave Thomas himself also became part of the advertising strategy. In 1989, Thomas starred in his first commercial and quickly became a nationwide household name. 
After the first national campaign, Dave went on to appear in more than 800 commercials through the years. Also in 1989, Wendy's first introduced the concept of a super value menu and it took off with nine items available for 99 cents every day. The menu offerings rotated based on what customers were craving. In 1990, President George H.W. Bush asked Dave Thomas to serve as the spokesperson for the National Adoption Initiative called Adoption Works for Everyone. This was extra special to Thomas because he had been adopted as a child. Wendy's embraced adoption as its national charitable cause and in the years since has committed millions of dollars to raise awareness for children in foster care and foster care adoption. At the age of 69, Wendy's founder Dave Thomas passed away from liver cancer in 2002, but he left behind a big legacy in both his restaurant chain and his charitable giving. Beginning in 2013, Wendy's began a brand transformation with restaurant designs and engaging advertising. Wendy's upgraded and unveiled a new and contemporary logo to keep up with the rest of its evolving brand image. This was the first major logo change in over 30 years. The very first Wendy's slogan was quality is our recipe. This saying has endured long beyond other trendy sayings that have come and gone, including where's the beef, give a little nibble, and do what tastes right. Wendy's has become one of the most successful fast food chains in the entire United States. It comes in third only behind its two largest competitors. McDonald's holds the rank of number one, and Burger King comes in second place. It operates more than 6,500 restaurants in 34 different countries. There's just something about Wendy's square patties and those delicious Frosties. Have you ever dipped a hot and salty fry in your sweet frosty? If so, you're not alone. What else do you enjoy most about Wendy's? <laughs>